Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Tide plus Pepsi, okay, two circles, let's go. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we make it say Tide C and we make it kind of be in this font overlaid on top of this logo. And then for each of the little rings, I think I'm just gonna duplicate that here and cut out the middle where the white is. So the first step is gonna be just to duplicate each of these rings. Okay, here's that with none of the logo on it. Now I wanna make each of these rings be blue and then red and then blue. Okay, so I've got my two halves right here and now I just wanna go ahead and select the inner part of the Pepsi logo and subtract it from this. So here's what that looks like. I found the font, it's called Compacta, and I'm gonna type out C. Now I just need to mask that out. So lastly, I just had to put it all together, and here's the final result. Honestly, this one looks pretty cool. I was not sure exactly how it would look with the red and the white and all the different color combos, but I'm happy about it. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Instagram plus Microsoft. Okay, let's go. Okay, basically Basically what I'm thinking is removing all of these parts of the Instagram logo and taking this square and making one of each color and then going back and taking the white parts of this one and putting it in the middle of all four squares. So first I need to go ahead and remove all of the white parts and we get something like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and resize it and get one in each of these squares. This is what I've got, it is very trippy. Now I'm gonna go through and put a color over top of each one of them and it looks like this. This, and then if I take the blending mode and set it to hue, we have this. Now I'm gonna select all of the white part of the Instagram logo and mask it out. And then we should be able to just move it in front of this. And here is the final result. Why does it kind of look like a Pokemon gym badge? Honestly, the vision came fully together like I thought it would, but I'm still not too sold on this as a logo as a whole. But let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have ooh, Red Bull plus Crocs. Okay, I think we know what we have to do. Well, I'm just gonna take the Crocs head and kind of put it up here where these bulls are and then draw out a crocodile body instead of the bull. So I'm gonna rescale the Croc just so we can get a little bit of an idea of where the head's gonna go. And I'm gonna go over the general shape of the logo with that red. Wrapping with the tail kind of like whipping around or something like that. And I wanna add a bunch of like spikes now for the legs, I kind of do want to mimic the bowl and make it look like they're kind of like running. Now I need to go through with the yellow and add in all the little details. The original croc logo is kind of happy, but I definitely want to make this one like a raging crocodile. So I've got the one in there, now I'm going to add the other, and here is the final result. This one is one of those ones that's just really fun to make, and I love the final result. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have BP plus BMW. Okay, let's go. Okay, my idea for this one is to call it BPW. <laughs> and then somehow I'm gonna take this shape here and put it in this circle and then make it be blue and white. So the first step is gonna be to remove this M. And apparently this font is just Helvetica. So I'm gonna type out a P. Now I'm gonna move the BP logo into the middle. And basically I need to color each side blue. So I'm gonna make these boxes and then eventually we can get them down to the right size. So this is what I have, but if I change the blending mode to be hue, it should look perfect. Last step is instead of the circle around it, I wanna make it look like almost the flower. So I'm gonna figure out how to do that. And here is the final result. This one is one of those ones that's just kind of funny at the end of it all. It doesn't necessarily look like an amazing logo, but my vision came through. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a back to school redesign. What's it gonna be? Ooh, Taco Bell. Okay, let's go. All right, so I'm thinking we rename this one School Bell and only to find this font. And then instead of like an old fashioned bell like that, I wanna make it look like 
an actual school bell, like something like that. So the first step is gonna be to just recreate this dome shape with the pen tool. Now I'm gonna try to recreate these shapes using the pen tool as well. Okay, I'm really happy with how that shape is going. Now I need to add on a little circle for the bell part over here and connect it with a little line just like this. And I wanna add on a couple more details like a highlight and a low light. But now I need to resize it and fit it in here just a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and make this up upper part be a lighter purple, delete the word taco, finally type out school, and here is the final result. Honestly, I was really worried when I first started doing this that you wouldn't be able to tell that it looked like a school bell, but I think the final result really looks like one and actually turned out pretty cool. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a back to school redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Kool-Aid, okay. So the obvious thing we need to do is change it to be school-aid. So I'm thinking maybe just do SK. And then I'm trying to rack my brain about something I can do to make it a little more school-ish. So maybe something like make the letters look like school paper. So I found the font online, it's called cool beans. So I'm gonna type out an S and I'm gonna place it in front of Kool-Aid. I duplicated it and I'm gonna make one in this blue. So that way we can add this blue drop shadow to it. I added a stroke around the whole thing and then now with the pen tool, I'm gonna add in that blue shadow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color in each of the letters in like a light yellow. I'm gonna add in some dots to look like the three hole paper. And then add in all the blue lines and here is the final result. Honestly, I had to rack my brain to think of anything to do with this one, and I was worried about how it was gonna turn out, but I think this turned out so cool and cute. I mean, it looks like something they would actually put on their packaging for back to school. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever logo this filter lands on, I'm gonna give it a gross redesign. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh, Kit Kat. All right, let's go. So what I'm thinking for this one is we rename it Kit Cut, and then we make all of the white parts look like flesh and just kind of draw in little cuts and scars all over it. So the first step is gonna be to turn this A into a U by erasing this part right here. Now I'm gonna make each of these letters look like different skin tones. Okay, and now it's time to go in and just add in a bunch of tiny cuts all over each of these letters. And for some of them, I think I'm gonna add in some kind of stitching and some other kind of things just to give each one a little bit of variety. <laughs> this is what I'm working with. It's looking a little Halloween-y right now, so I'm thinking I might go in under some of these with like a little bit more red to make them look inflamed and maybe add some yellow to some of them. So I'm gonna do all that and here is the final result. Okay, this yellow kind of pus that I added made it look so extra gross. This one pained me to draw it all and now even just looking at it, it is so, ugh, it's just hard to look at. I don't know, it did turn out pretty gross. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.